Okay. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Go Do ahead. you have your votes yes, and a reason to vote? Say it. Yes. Three, two, one. Oh, That's gone. God. That's that so is gone. so good. Get over the second fence. What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros, and today, folks, it is Championship Sunday. We got the Wood Bat Madness Finals, Old Hickory versus American Batsmith, Maple versus Birch. Let's get it! Ladies and gentlemen, many episodes later, here we are, two well-deserved contendees in the Wood Bat Madness 1.0 Championship. We have the Old Hickory Maple MT27 Mike Trout Signature Steel Pressed Maple versus the American Batsmith TS28 Taylor Snyder Signature Birch. Guys, honestly, a couple freaking Cinderella runs right here. A couple kind of smaller wood bat companies. And guys, honestly, in the wood bat space, the small companies can hang. Because guys, again, it's just, it's it's wood. It's not like you need a ton of research and development to make these bats. It, it all comes from the same type of tree, right? You just want to get a good billet of wood and know how to make a good turn model. Model, and especially like with birch be able to like compress it well and get it pre-broken in but these are both excellent bats it's going to be an awesome showdown we have a pretty slim light swinging maple bat here versus a pretty big long barreled birch so it's going to be a fun showdown old hickory versus american batsmith maple versus birch mike trout versus taylor snyder let's get it all right folks a little pelican bat wax on there. Starting out with, I would assume, the favorite, right? Yes. I think people are going to think the old Hick's going to win this thing. Yeah. The old Hickory, Mike Trout, 27. Just an easy to swing, hard freaking wood bat. We've been calling this thing like the voodoo one of wood bats. It's just easy to swing, kind of a good long sweet spot, and it can launch the ball. So this ship, we're going to crown a champ. Let's get it. Buddy, these are loud. Yeah, solid. Whoa. See, that's off the end, though. Oh, dude, that, okay, that's the same swing that broke the Marucci. Oh, no! Yeah, we're freaking holding up. Oh, it does sound good, though. I'll give it that. <laughs> Oh, that's gone. Gosh. Dude. Oh, that stupid fence. That's stupid. the green monster. That's what you get. <laughs> oh, my that lord. Was that was that's so loud, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Off, the end, off the end again. Woo! Short hop off the end. Wow, that's all pretty good. Into the bat. It does pretty well on those misses. Super forgiving, though. Yeah. Wow. Yep, <laughs> that's insane. That's off the end again. Ow! Did that hurt? Yes. Bring you. Ow. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that might be golf course. Oh, off the, off the golf course yeah. fence. That was barrel. Oh, that's gone. God, that's so that is gone. so gone. Get over the oh, second God. fence. Oh. oh, off the golf course fence. Let's go. Wow. Oh. Oh. Holy bat speed, though, with that. Oh, oh that didn't go anywhere. Woo. Oh. Jeez. Wow. Oh, that is hot. Oh, oh. You hear that? Dude. Man. Oh. That's so gone. See how loud that is, man? It's so loud when you get it. Oh. <laughs> no, I know what I'm picking. Sorry. Just wearing that, out. that was stupid. <laughs> that was full barrel. All right. The next most worthy bat. Like, honestly, this thing freaking earned it. A no name. Just freaking taking over. Such a Cinderella story. The American Batsmith TS28 Birch. Condensed, broken in, hard birch. Like, it's not going to get much better than that. This thing's going to be incredible. You've heard of the whole tournament. It's loud as can be. 
big forgiving sweet spot. It's gonna be a little bit more swing weight than the old hickory. The juice off of the barrel, like honestly distance and sweet spot is gonna be the game changer. And that's gonna kind of determine like if this can knock off the old hickory cause that has the swing weight like on lock. But let's see what the batsmith birch can do. That's a pretty impressive showing from the old hickory. Ooh, yeah, definitely a little tougher to get through the zone, man. I'm hitting that ball out with the old hick. Oh. Early on, I had it in my head, I like this bat better. Okay. And then that was an impressive showing. But after you and Cam hit it, I just like how it looked. I yeah. like how it sounded. I'm having a hard time because they're both really good pieces of wood. Yeah, I'm can. more torn now, and I we're, thought I had We're messing first with shirt. your head, and you haven't even swung I that yet. <laughs> Oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, That's hammered, dude. And that was more toward the end. That's the thing about birch. Crazy. Those get balls off the end that just leave you going. Yeah, they just go. Ooh. God, that feels so good. God. That was that hands. That was so good. That was dude. hands. That was hands. <laughs> that was hands. Oh. oh. Oh my lord! Dude. Dude, that might be the best ball I've hit. Yeah. Oh. Dude, that's like honestly kind of off the end. Short off. Well, you I, like the other one, right? I have no idea, dude. What? Really? I have no clue. Like, I'm honestly deciding as we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is real. <laughs> oh, jeez. See, that ball jumps. Oh, Ooh, yep. that ball jumps. Oh, yep. does jump. Oh, <laughs> this is tough. This right, is tough. This is hard. Right. <laughs> you start giving me bad pitches. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm so He's like trying to skew it. <laughs> it. So it's that one sounds better, but this one feels better. Yeah, but I'm also like, I'm way more consistent with this. Yeah, though. and birch and maple just naturally have a different sound. Yeah, yeah. Like, maple's a crisper, higher-pitched, like, crack. Yeah. But that's why I think I have a little bias, because I love birch bats. Yeah. And I, I primarily well. swing birch. I keep picking, whenever we compare them, I pick birch a lot of the time, man. Birch, hands down, dude. That's why I kind of freaked out when you told me these are rolled. Yeah. You know how big time that is? Oh, I know. It's like a game changer. Yeah. And to the bat, let's go. That's a bat breaker right there. Another bat that's just so durable. I've got sawed off so many times. That would have hurt a lot more with the hick. You're making that play. Yeah. But I'm beating it out. <laughs> I think it's a wall ball. Not even. Oh, oh what? Oh. Wow. Let's go. I can't believe oh that. Gosh. Man, I'm hitting those balls hard, though. Yeah. Oh, dude, just a little, a little more lag right there. Ooh, that's gone. That's so that should go for sure. For sure, gone. Yep, <laughs> smelly. Did that nick the yellow? <laughs> God. Woo. That's hammer, dude. That's gone. Oh, yeah, that's. Yeah. A, I mean. That's just powerful. Man, this is a tough matchup. And that was more like, I got pretty good barrel, but toward the end of the battle a little bit. Yeah, more. out but here. But what we talked about just with Mertz out there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's it, crazy. That's just really, really good on miss hits. Ooh. Get that ball. Get that Whole ball. lot of barrel. See yes, that. sir. Yeah. Woof. Dude, for me, this would just kind of be like a power bat, honestly. This is like, if I were to use this bat, it would just be because I'm trying to hit the ball as far as possible. I honestly just hit a little bit better with the old hick. Oh man, wow. that thing's got juice. juice. Oh, that's so loud. So loud. If I have to swing either of these bats, I will be a happy man, but I think Can I have my choice. Table? Dude, this is going to be a two to one vote. 100%. And I might lose. And I can't, I'm excited to see it. I'm, de I'm excited that I think I'm the deciding factor. <laughs> ah! The gap between whether or not I would choose the bat that I want to lose, it's like very close. I think you're going to lose. Don't say that. Dude, I think, I think you're going to get outvoted. If I want to, I could win every single one of these. <laughs>
<laughs> How does that even make sense? Because no, I'm in your guys' brain. <laughs> All right, Cam, so what's the deal? I'm pretty, uh, I'm like 55 45 right now. You have your vote for sure, Zach? For sure. I, I have my vote for sure. This is the video right here. Yeah. That feels so nice. If that goes out. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. What did I tell you guys? <laughs> I'm gonna lose my marbles. <laughs> are we are we voting? Yeah. Yes, we're voting. Okay, okay, ready? Okay. Alright, we're ready. You can hold it. You can hold it. Yeah, okay, okay. Right, I got you. I'm not as good as you. <laughs> Alright, folks. We're nervous about this one. This Okay, this was a worthy championship. Very you guys worthy. think yeah. so? Yeah. I, th worthy. I think we might have a split vote here, but uh, what's done is done, folks. We have a Wood Bat Madness champion, and we are going to crown it right now on the count of three. We are going to say Batsmith or Old Hickory. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Go Do ahead. you have your votes yes, and a reason to vote? Say it. Yes. Three, two, one. Bad Bad yeah. 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 Oh, no. Oh, How? Yes. I can't lose my own tournament. Me, dude. It's oh, it's way better. I'm telling you. I just lost at my own game. <laughs> Damn it, dude. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have to. You guys have to explain yourselves now. So the fans game. are going to be so mad. Easily. The fans wanted that. Throw it on me right now. I know, now. but we're our explanations are gonna we're gonna save the day. Golden. So so you you guys believe you're right? A hundred percent I believe I'm right. Hundred percent. All right, good. Okay, that's all I can ask for. You guys picked the American Batsmith TS twenty eight Birch. A tiny no name company. But guys, I think <laughs> I think this kind of goes to show that a small wood bat manufacturer can make a bat as good as anyone. Because again, it, it's just wood, guys. 100%. It's a tree. So, um, and I think they do a really good job of compressing birch to its max potential right out of the wrapper. So that's a game changer. But guys, let's talk about it. Cam, you picked the beefy barreled heavy power hitting bat yeah. over the lighter old hickory. Why'd you do it, man? Uh, this felt a lot more flexy. And it's forgiving, yeah, it right? It feels forgiving. like a two-piece hybrid. It was very forgiving. Yeah. And uh, that that last ball, I don't know how it went out. And that, I know. that was like confirmation. And you pieced up one with the old hick when that hit, hit the hit fence. Perhaps the 33, 330 sign. And I, know. I and you, said it was going out. Yeah. And that was just too embarrassing. I couldn't choose it. <laughs> <laughs> so it was an ego thing, just like the Cody Bellinger with the sound. No, Cody Bellinger should have won this tournament. <laughs> okay, yeah. all right. All right, so the power won it. For the American Batsmith. And the sweet spot is much, in my opinion, yeah. much larger. Yeah. I, I, dude, I, I think I think you're probably right there. That thing just had a huge barrel. It was forgiving. It, it felt like the goods, man, but yeah. even lighter. It felt like the select power. Or like, it felt like the Knox kind of, you know? Yeah. And Zach, you freaking outvoted me, man. Why did you go with the American Batsmith TS-28 Birch? Okay, biggest thing was forgiveness for me. Dude, Especially, specifically in my later rounds, I started to switch back and forth. Um, with the old hick, I would really get balls, and it sounded great. I thought it even sounded maybe better than this at On times. On some swings, On yeah. On some swings, yeah. when I really got it. Yeah. But I felt like the ball carried so much more with this bat. Yeah. So the power and then the forgiveness. Like, I was hitting balls out, and I got it toward, like, the end of the barrel. For sure. Whereas if I got it with the end of the barrel with the old hick, it wasn't going as far for me. And again, just the swing weight of this, it's a little bit heavier. Uh, the taper I really liked a lot better. Mm -hmm. And I mean, massive barrel too. Yeah. A perfect comparison to the goods, that two piece, honestly, yeah. that's, that's the perfect comp. And then for me guys, it really just came down to barrel control. I mean, that's why the old Hickory has been winning like every matchup. It's just so much easier to swing. And like, for me, a guy that like, just honestly doesn't lift a lot. And I just, you know, I don't have quite the hand speed that like a guy like Zach or even like honestly can't I feel like you honestly have like better hand speed than me now uh I just I just need this for more barrel control and guys if you're like a high school guy if like you're a smaller dude that like doesn't really pride yourself on power like just honestly this is probably going to be a better bet for you but I mean for the hitters we have today dude I I, I get it honestly like I, I'm not that upset that thing has just so much barrel bro and when you get it it's so satisfying I think in the semifinal, when I hit that ball on the fly off of the school, off off the metal side of the school, that might have been my furthest. Oh yeah, that was my furthest home run bat oh, yes, yes. outside of Salt Lake City, where it's five thousand feet elevation. But 
just the barrel control and guys I would again I would encourage you if you're a smaller guy that needs the bat speed this is probably going to be one of your best options out there but dude I, I think that one just because like compressed hard max potential birch it's hard to beat man yeah it's it's flexible yes. and it's hot as can be bro uh i would dude i want to see this in birch yes. the mp27 yeah. in birch that'd that, be a that'd game be changer awesome. yeah but, uh yeah i mean th this lost but like for most guys i think a, a bat more like this is going to make sense this and even like the lindy 12 it broke pretty early but i mean this was really really durable this is an excellent wood bat for like a youth player that's going to be between you know like 14 and 17 years old uh an advanced hitter the freaking Batsmith is legit, bro. So I'll take the L in the ship. My first championship loss ever. And there you have it, folks. While I was outvoted, while Bat Bro Will was outvoted, I can respect it. I mean, all the reviews we've been doing have led up to this. We know that good broken in compressed birch, like often is our favorite type of wood. Like go look at both of our which wood bat is best videos, maple versus ash versus birch, and birch took it both times. These guys make an incredible, incredible birch bat. But for maple, this is honestly the best maple bat I've come across as well. Just two incredible bats. The American Batsmith TS-28 compressed broken in birch drop two and a half is your wood bat madness 1.0 champion and then the runner-up is going to be the old hickory mt27 maple and the third place is the cody bellinger louisville slugger mlb prime maple and next up guys we got you with probably some budget bat madness and bb core we're going to do some bat madness world series then probably the summer we're going to hit some wood bat madness 2.0 which is going to be like wood composites your bomb bats your rawlings wood composites your demarini wood composites we'll probably get like some hickory and bamboo and beech wood in there as well that's going to be a really fun one because that's going to be a lot more of like your durable bats but there you guys have it our champion folks appreciate you hanging out if you like the video we'd appreciate it if you drop a like subscribe to the channel and if you want to help support the bat bros you can check out the merch like the lightweight bat bros hoodie i was wearing over at baseballbatbros.com appreciate y'all we'll see you next time peace out